Sir, on 5th August, demonstrators converged in Dhaka, despite the curfew. Our understanding is that after a meeting with leaders of the security establishment, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina apparently made the decision to resign. At very short notice, she requested approval to come for the moment to India. We simultaneously received a request for flight clearance from Bangladesh authorities. She arrived yesterday evening in Delhi. The situation in Bangladesh, sir, is still evolving. The Army Chief, General Wakaru Zaman, addressed the nation on 5th August. He spoke about assuming responsibility and constituting an interim government. We are in close and continuous touch with the Indian community in Bangladesh through our diplomatic missions. There are an estimated 19,000 Indian nationals there, of which about 9,000 are students. The bulk of the students, however, have already returned to India in the month of July, <coughs> the advice of the High Commission. In terms of our diplomatic presence, in addition to the High Commission in Dhaka, we have assistant high commissions in Chittagong, Rajshahi, Khulna, and Silhet. It is our expectation that the host government will provide the required security protection for these establishments. We look forward to the normal functioning once the situation stabilizes. Chairman, sir, we are also monitoring the situation with regard to the status of minorities. There are reports of initiatives by various groups and organizations to ensure their protection and well-being. We welcome that, but will naturally remain deeply concerned till law and order is visibly restored.